Soccer, the sport which has captured the hearts and stirred the passions of the common man all over the world. In Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, South America, and in the far-reaching corners of the globe, those who follow soccer are numbered not in the millions, but in hundreds of millions. Only the continent of North America remained aloof to the international frenzy of soccer. One man, one special legend, triggered an avalanche of soccer fever. Perhaps no man in the history of sport has gained such worldwide adulation as that which has been cast upon the brilliant Brazilian Pelé. Selected as the athlete of the century, the incredible skill and magnetism of Pelé turned the attention of Americans to soccer. When Pelé signed with the New York Cosmos of the North American Soccer League, the impact was immediate. Sell-out crowds, spectacular goals, and a worldwide awareness that soccer had come of age in the United States. American soccer history was blessed by this truly remarkable Pelé bicycle kick goal. In slow motion, it becomes a soccer ballet as ball and man soar to a graceful rendezvous to create a goal of beauty. Often attempted, it is a feat seldom achieved, even by a player with the artistry of Pelé. The far-reaching influence of Pelé broke down an invisible barrier separating foreign soccer and American soccer. Soon, superstars of all nations were flocking to the United States. Giorgio Quinaglia from Italy. Johann Kreit from Holland. Franz Beckenbauer from Germany. Oscar Fabiani from Argentina. Mike Flanagan from England, plus dozens more around the globe. With new heroes to worship, the fans began the groundswell. They came from all walks of life to see the game that had captured the imagination of hundreds of millions of people. Call it soccer or football, as it's known in most countries, it is now the century-old sport, born anew in the United States and attracting millions of new fans. The great American soccer explosion is much more than fans. It means participants. Youth league soccer is spreading across the USA with a contagious enthusiasm that will not be denied. There are now more than two and a half million boys and girls playing the game. The story of soccer in America is the story of its youth. On the sand lots, in playgrounds, in clinics, in high schools and colleges, everywhere and anywhere there is open space. Baseball and football may be our national pastimes, but soccer is well on its way to becoming our international pastime. The height soccer will attain when the United States becomes prominent internationally is unlimited. When World Cup champion Argentina played at Giant Stadium, more than 70,000 jammed the arena. Imagine the fanaticism when the U.S. national team challenges for a World Cup. And now the Americans are coming. The Americans are coming. They're making their presence felt right now. The success of idols like Ricky Davis, Jeff Durgan, Joe Moroni, Mark Peterson and others fuel the burning desires of other future stars as more and more youngsters play soccer as their primary sport the strength of american soccer will become as evident as it is in other international sports like basketball boxing golf hockey and tennis The unbridled passions of soccer make it the most emotional of sports. 
Perhaps the basic simplicity of the game provides the reasons. Any boy or girl can play. There are a minimum of rules, and the objective is, simply enough, kick the ball into the opposing goal. One of the premier goal scorers in soccer history, Giorgio Quinaglio was an Italian institution. Leaving Italy to join the Cosmos in 1976, he has become the all-time goal-scoring king of the NASL, a citizen of the United States, and the number one supporter of soccer in America. Quinaglio's enthusiasm for the game is genuine and his celebration of every goal is as spontaneous as its crowd pleases. The emotions of soccer carry far beyond the field of play. It is, after all, the most human of games played by legends who are but human themselves. When the magical career Pelé concluded after three years with the Cosmos, his farewell game attracted a sellout crowd and a worldwide television audience of half a billion people. I believe love more important than what we can take in life. Everything passed. Please say to me, stay with me three times. Love. Love. And love. Thank you very much. Muito With the legendary Pelé and the charismatic Quinalia, the Cosmos have become the best-known sports team in the world in just 10 years, bringing global attention to soccer in America. As the popularity of soccer continues to grow across the U.S., it's a time for youngsters to dream the sweet reverie of youth, aspiring to someday trod the same fields to attain the same plateaus, to reach for greatness the way their heroes once dreamed and fulfilled. For it is in those dreams of the youth of America that soccer will thrive and eventually carry the United States to the top of the international pastime. And in time, from those who dream, there will come once again a player to capture the imagination and the hearts of the world. Another Pelé, another Quinalia, the first American.